Welcome to Excellence in Excel. I'm Nick Wong and in this video, this is a part two of how to calculate the Philippine tax. So you have here right now the Philippine tax amount. And this is the amount for 2018 till 2022. So you can see here. So that's for the fiscal year. All right. So now let's start and continue. Now we have our design and then let's put in some names here so imagine we have a john and we have a anna and we have a lisa and they have businesses and since this is only for sole proprietor so this is just basic business so there's no corporation let's give it some financials imagine john earned fifty thousand for that year and imagine anna is doing very well and earns two hundred fifty thousand. And imagine we have Lisa earns six million million pesos. All right, so that's wonderful. So now we need to calculate, and how can we calculate? So first of all, let's see and let's check. What we want to know first is first we need to know in which bracket it is, or not even the bracket. We we need to know the bracket, but we need to know more the percentage amount that we're going to pay. So that is step number one. So I'm going to insert here and I'm going to make this nice orange so we can start to have some design as well on this. All right. And give it this. All right. These are the names. Earnings. And then here, here will be the percentage. Percentage. So question one. How will we do it? In this case, we will use the VLOOKUP function. So if we type in VLOOKUP, then open up, then we're going to search here. All right, we say we have this, the 50,000, and we need to search here. We know it's bracket one. However, it should look automatically with the VLOOKUP. It should understand it will be bracket one. So to do that, let's click here, then we open the formula builder. So we have our value, it's the B10. Secondly, the table array. So the table array, and this is very important with the VLOOKUP, if you're searching for the value or comparing, this is your lookup value, the lookup value must always be in the first column of the table array. So in this case, our table array is, I'm just going to select everything right now because it will be useful. So the, this one here, and this is the first row or column in your table array. That's correct. And then second, for finally, we'll ask, um, what is the call index number? The call index number is the column with the which column number has the value that we need. In this case, we start here with this is the first column of the array. So one, two, three. In this case, percentage is is the column number, so that's number three. Finally, here we have the range lookup. So if you would put in nothing, there will be no value or it will be exact match but we want the range lookup so we will say range lookup is true and as it's true it will show result let's click here and done we'll close this you can see now it shows in zero so that works because it is a percentage of zero so the next part we're going to do is we're going to add it for the next one we want to know Anna as well and Lisa so we have the formula, so all we're going to do now is we are going to freeze it. So we click here on the B2 to E7 or Echo 7. So we just type in here F4, then we'll freeze the cells. And here as well, F4, we'll freeze the cells, and then we're done. The reason why we did, one, did that is because we can drag now. So let's drag this. Now you can see exactly what it needs. And we can find that the 6 million is in bracket 5 to 32%. So now we have the V lookup. Of course, now is the next question. All right, how much do we need to pay? So for that, I will show that in the next video. Just make sure you have this ready right now. And in the next video, we'll start to calculate and we will get the number instantly. So if you like, videos and information about Excel like this, check out the link below. In there you can find a wonderful Excel course that goes deep in anything about Excel. 